Hello all, Seriously is here, back for another simple build tips and a mini tutorial on building a cuboid room stairs. As you can see, I have built a couple of towers here with two types of stair. <clears throat> One is the, and I've built them out of glass so we can just take a look without having to go through them, but we will go through them. Uh, this is the uh, one stairwell in the corner, there's a floor, stairwell, corner, stairwell, corner, all the way up like a spiral around the outside. And the other is the dual staircase, one on either side. Up, around, up, and around, up, and around, all the way to the top. And we're going to recreate one of these towers, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but before we get into that fancy stuff, <clears throat> Let's see, uh, I'm going to show you a simple build tip or two. Uh, back again relating to placement of things. I saw a fellow YouTuber, Richard Huntington, uh, having a problem building these things right here. What are they called? Foundations. Yeah, these frames, cuboid room frames, they go underneath your stuff. All my stuff's floating right now, we'll get into that. So we want to go into the camera, and uh, yeah, especially with things that are already see-through, uh, and they'll let you place underneath, and there's multiple snapping points underneath and around and behind. Uh, if I want to place stuff behind, right now it's going below, and it's going above. There, I got it. Oh, what? It's hard to target. You see, I'm sure lots of people run into this pro problem. Uh, what you need to do to fix this <clears throat> is actually focus on the thing that you're, you've trained yourself to ignore because it's usually not too helpful you find and it's that glowing orb in the middle you see with the ring around it there's an orb with a ring I want to place it behind that cube over there so I need to make that one turn green instead of turquoise and the way to make it turn green is to get your cursor your reticle as close as you can to it so mine is currently close to the one on top and if I go down here, it'll be close to the one on bottom. Well, if I had a, a worse angle, it might go to the bottom first. Yeah, see, I got to go all the way to there before it'll snap over to the place I want it to be. And that's almost right on the target. <clears throat> so focus on those. Um, it's If you're having problems snapping it where you think it should go, focus on the circle. Uh, another thing that uh, Richard Huntington also likes to do is build glass cuboid rooms. And uh, I thought I would share a simple building tip with him. And it's that if you want a, an, an entirely glass room, if we go in here, do we have the range in the camera? Let's find out. Yes, we do. This is an entirely glass room, you know, all the way around. But if we go outside, show you a little trick it's that the core of this building all the way down from the top to the bottom is not glass cuboid rooms it is regular cuboid rooms saving you quite a bit of glass and a little bit of effort build that core first whatever however tall you're making it even if it's only one or two stories the inside can be regular cuboid rooms you can see in my ground floor here is actually cuboid rooms as well and on this tower, I made the core. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy today. I made the core cuboid rooms just like this one, but on the top, I replaced the middle of the core with a glass cuboid room. So even on the top floor, it's glass all the way around, not using glass down the center. And of course, here on the recreation one, we're just going to use um, regular cuboid rooms so we don't see through the transparencies and I can show you it's a little bit simpler uh, and another thing that I've noticed is that deleting things uh, especially if you're deleting from inside a room and you're in a bunch of cuboid rooms you're gonna want to delete from the farthest point away from you to towards you when you're deleting from outside you're gonna want to delete rooms from towards you to away. But if you are inside a room, and I don't really want to delete any of these rooms right now, um, yeah, we can 
can delete a couple. We'll just have to put them back. Uh, we don't want to delete this room first because that will block our access to being able to delete this room. <clears throat> we don't want to. We don't want to delete for here with our camera. Yeah, this, this one's in the way no matter what. There, there's a better angle. So we've got, let's say, all six of these rooms to delete. We should start with the farthest one away. If we delete this one first, it's going to have a cube like this. We're going to be left with this situation where we have to go around to the edge to target it. If we delete this one first, we're going to have to go around it and that one. So we want to start with the farthest room. That's what we want to delete. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Those are the rooms you're going to want to delete in that order when you're inside the rooms. Uh, when you're outside, it's a lot easier to delete from closer to further. However, again, when you're placing things like this that are transparent, you definitely have to make sure you're not targeting something behind it uh, because you might accidentally delete something you don't want to. So those are the tips. Now let's get into simple, simple tips. Let's get into building this thing, recreating this tower. How do you place stairs, you might think, because it's impossible. Isn't it impossible? You can't place stairs anywhere except on ground levels inside cuboid rooms, which sort of makes them useless, doesn't it? Because the whole point is to be able to go up multiple stories, you would hope, without having to use ladders. And as you can see, we got that going on here. It works, no problem, uh, except stairways have a railing, but it's a non-collision railing. You can run right off the edge. You can use stuff like flags on an angle and finagle your own railing in. I try to put in these uh, stoppers here on the corners because these floors also don't have any way to prevent yourself from falling off. But other than that, it works pretty good. Can't even really fall between it, even though there is a gap. See in the floor there? So it's safe along the edge of the wall. If you really want to just run along the edge of the wall, that's the safe way up these stairs. And I've put a little couple of these in. I was experimenting with these, shrinking them down. They're the, uh, what are they called? Let's find out. Decorations. Is it in here? Yeah, I think it was. Of course, it's a new one. <clears throat> so I probably should have gone right instead of left. There it is. Heavy duty furniture is what it's called. Uh, it's basically a big shelving unit. There you go. And I just shrank that down so that I could place three of them. Each one has two units. Uh, I didn't really like how it looked. I liked how this side looked. So on the other side, I've placed them all uh, facing outward. Finding the exact size and getting them lined up is a bit of a nightmare, so I'm not going to showcase that. That's just all by eye. Eyeballing it all the way. And it does make an effective barrier. It's a little bit janky if you're running all the way up against it, but it's better than falling to a little bit of damage if you're making a very tall tower. So, <clears throat> that's the tour. How do we make that thing? Well, I've found one of the easiest ways is to start with your tower and then to just delete the rooms that need to be deleted ahead of time. So that's what I've gone and done. We're going to make a five story. Is it five? Yeah, five story tower, just like the other ones. Put a room on top and who knows, maybe we'll do something fancy at the end. Let's see what happens. All right, let's get uh, inside. Should we be inside? No, we just need to be nearby because we're going to use the build camera for the whole thing. We want to be on structures, uh, and I'm going to point out, oh, whoops, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to point out why these rooms that I've deleted have been deleted. We're going to recreate the spiral staircase one. Uh, if you want to recreate the dual staircase one, you just need to delete different rooms. So uh, we want a staircase going on the inside, mind you from this corner to this corner along this wall right here and then along this floor here we're going to put a cuboid room floor follow that around it will also be going from here to here that's the same floor and then we're going to want a staircase from here to here to continue the spiral which means we cannot have a cuboid room beneath it 
it needs to be its own piece. We can only put stairs in cuboid rooms that have nothing beneath it. So this is another thing with the previous build tip video that I did. Build order matters. Uh, we can put a cuboid room in beneath stairs, but we cannot put stairs on top of an empty cuboid room. So, because we want this stair to go here, this room is deleted. And then we're gonna have another floor here, going around from that corner to here. And then we're gonna want a staircase going up from there to there. So we've deleted this room. Staircase land here. That's our flat floor. And the next staircase will go up there. So we've deleted that room. And on the top floor, we're gonna have a staircase going here, right? So this is the top floor. We can't really use a staircase to go from the inside of cuboid rooms up into one of these. But because this is cuboid rooms, we will be able to just jet back up with na without needing to put place a ladder. Uh, there should be just an open hole that we can enter up into, I believe. We'll check. We'll check on that when we get up there. For now, let's go inside and start placing our stairs. Structures. We're going to want to be... Okay, so floors are here and stairs are here. So we shortest route is going to be left to right like that. Hopefully with nothing in between. Uh, one of the reasons you need to place at least a three wide room is because in cuboid room stairs, if I'm to rotate this... Oh, it's not going to let me. There we go. Uh, accessing these stairs, if you see it in the bottom right corner of where they're placed, I used my mouse, but it might move my... There, in that corner there. Uh, it's, you can't access that. There's no room to get on or off. You just run into a dead-end wall. And similarly, at the top, if we place it here... Uh, come on, rotate the right way. There you go. You're just facing a dead-end wall, and while you can hop on or off here from a flat stairwell, a uh, flat floor, uh, it's not ideal getting on or off. There is a gap. Now, that same gap that's on the far side against this wall is uh, that you won't fall off on. You will fall off between the floor, so you're going to have to jump at the top of every staircase. So you need to place stairs in the middle of at least three wide places. So we're going to go like that, placing our stair. We can just avoid the floors for now. I think we're going to find out. Uh, and we'll do, and if we need to, we'll do build order and place the floors in after. So that's our next one. There we go. And that's the top floor. Yes, see, we have a hole. Perfect. That's excellent. We can just jetpack up. So we've placed the stairs. Now what we can do is place the rooms. Uh, let's see. This is a pretty good angle to see most of them. I think. There we go, cuboid room. We want to target that circle with the halo. Uh, that's interesting. The last time I did it, uh, well, maybe build order affects that, but it didn't put that floor in. Hmm. Interesting. Is that the last one? That's the last one. Now we want to place the floors in, at least in the corners. That's the basement there, We're on the ground floor. Okay, and on the top floor, we'll fill in the entire thing. Except, obviously, the one right above the stairs. Which, uh, it might not let us do, no, it lets us do it. Okay, sometimes it won't let you place these, and uh, I have no explanation for why. Don't ask me. <laughs> Basically, if that happens, if it's not letting you place a floor where you should definitely be able to snap a floor in, uh, try deleting that whole column and, and just rebuilding it. That's had, I've had success doing that, but I cannot explain why floors will not place sometimes. All right, so that's the staircase done. Let's give it a test whirl in person to make sure it works. Can we go up against the wall? Yeah, it's working. Okay. There, we're on the top floor. Can get into here. Excellent. Everything's coming up Millhouse. So let's get back out. See what else we can do. I uh, have one idea. Alright, let's get rid of that door. We can do it all from out here. 
we're going to do what I suggested over there. We're going to make a glass tower. And uh, we're not going to delete these rooms because our stairs are in them. We're going to build on the outside. We're going to make a, a wider tower. We'll probably have to place more floors. And our stairwell will be going up the interior of a building not along the edge, so we will be able to fall off on the far side of the stairs. We won't have that wall to lean against, but it'll uh, look pretty neat and cost quite a bit of glass. Fortunately, if we take a look here, I've made quite a bit of glass, and I've got a bunch more. This is uh, my R&D base, so I have a bunch of frost biodomes. It's about 8,000 frost for this many full biodomes if you don't glitch anything together. For contrast, the single biodome of uh, selenium is about 9,000. So you can uh, make an infinity dome that gets you a lot of stuff and not have to build all of these domes. But it's fun. I like it. I like these domes. Looks cool. Shows off your glass. It's a lot of base parts, though. A lot of extra base parts. Like this part's going to be. Let's start putting this glass in. Oh, these might look good at the top. Yeah, let's put let's put those at the top. That's a good idea. All right, so remember to target our circles or halos, whatever we want to call those. Okay, see that? I was going to place beneath. Got to make sure you're targeted on the correct one. So you have to have a good idea of where the correct halo is. Make sure you're not snapping to the right. It's the wrong thing. Uh, another important thing to note is if you're building straight up say I should be able to keep placing snap 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 but you have to wait until the next room draws before you place or it will go beneath or it won't place correctly at all so be cautious be a little bit patient when you're snapping cuboid rooms together they take a second to draw in I have a scaffolding beneath so I can just snap it to the wall here that's already drawn but if there was nothing behind this, I would have to wait for the base to appear before I could put the one on top. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I placed the roll. Yeah, see, one went wrong. I wasn't, wasn't paying attention. I mean, I do want one there anyway, so let's, uh, let's just go into this side now. Hmm. I do not think I calculated how much glass I need properly, but I've got lots more frost wart, so it's fine. That looks like the right circle. Yes, it is. See, that was confusing because it might have snapped out here where the ghost image was showing. So pay more attention to which circle is highlighted than which uh, image you're seeing from the ghost uh, blue or gray one, whichever it's showing you. Don't, don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to which circle is highlighted. snap points along the same uh, angle for the cursor there. That is what causes that. Oh, you know what we were going to do? Top row. With the ones that cost less glass. <laughs> and it's a shame about those. I wonder if they've ever fixed that. We'll find out when we get to them. But it draws a weird wall between them when you put them alongside each other. show you what I mean by placing only the middle ones first, where they look pretty good. Okay, we can get off of that. There we go. Now let's go back to this thing. You can place one right there. Looks pretty good, right? Nice circle. Nice curve. Well, let's place another one in here. That was not the right spot. Wasn't paying attention to which circle was highlighted. And it draws a square wall, interrupting the nice curve. Unfortunately. Oh well. Alright, let's finish this off. That's the one we want. Where did this thing go? Way down there, eh? Alright, you're gone. Rotate. Alright, we want one there. Well, that's interesting. It keeps the curve if you leave that middle one out. Mm. No, no, we want it in. 
Yeah, on the inside, you will be able to see this, but there's no square wall on the inside, so I'm fine with it. Well, I'm not fine with it. I want them to fix it. That would be ideal. All right, that's the one. There we go. There we go. Nice glass tower. You know what we could do? How much glass do we have left? 44 glass, because each of these only take one. Okay, so... Yeah, large. It's right there. Put a biodome there. Let's put some glass windows here. Let's make a really gaudy, not gaudy, uh, glassy. <laughs> Probably uh, difficult to render all of these complex glass pieces on current consoles, but the recent news of the 3.1 patch to release with next gen consoles means something like this is no problem. I mean, something like this is no problem on current consoles. This is a, this is a relatively small building. If you made this like 10 stories tall, did we delete a room? Ah, tisk tisk. All right. Yeah, if you were to do 10 or 20 stories of this, this would be a lot of glass. I don't think it would render well. Let's uh, get it in here and give it a whirl. Let's see what it looks like. Something else to note is uh, glass rooms are fine to not power. Um, these floors will light up no matter what. And um, you don't get the, the weird glowing red light. I mean, you see up top where we have one regular cuboid room, where all these cuboid rooms are? If we made these glass cuboid rooms, uh, that wouldn't be happening because we would have glass showing the base of the circular room above us. Unfortunately, if we want to get into that biodome we placed, we do need a ladder. There's no way to really uh, finagle that without using, like I did over here, small cuboid rooms beneath them. Small cuboid rooms beneath any large round room, including biodomes, will create an open hole with no ladder needed. But I think that looks pretty good inside and out. We might need to place some more floors just to get that to be uh, more functional. Give that a whirl, see how that looks. Because this is a very precarious staircase with uh, nothing to keep you from falling off the edges. Uh, we can put railings in on both sides on the, on the platforms. No problem to do that. However, well, it's a big problem. That's that's the problem. It's, it's a hassle to do that. At least would like this top floor to have uh, floors all the way to this, these curved windows we could look out of. So let's do that. Which way are the floors? There they are. Luckily, the small cuboid room uh, menu is not very big. If you make a mistake and go the wrong way, just keep going. You'll be around to the other side in no time. Uh, something we could do in the corner is put a regular glass room. That will give us a floor. It's a little bit of a step, tiny amount of step there. Uh, but it will give us an unobstructed view from the inside and probably not look that bad on the outside. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> mm. It is really a shame that they did not give us this room with glass. That would be excellent. That would fix all of those problems. Of course, that's going to delete the floor. Yeah, and it has the same issue here, drawing the square corner as the curved ones do here. So, yeah, you know what? That actually leads me to believe they can make this, because that's basically what this is here. They could, they could easily give us a curved glass window. They've already done it. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> we've got our tower built. We've got a staircase. We've got a couple of towers built probably going to delete most of these because there are a lot of base parts used and I don't need them around for any particular purpose. If, however, you wanted to place a power hotspot or a uh, industrial hotspot for mining, gas, or minerals, you could build your things on the inside here 
and have a teleport room, a short range teleporter, or your base teleporter located in here and just stop off and pick everything up. And you'd never have to leave the out into the elements at all. Have an entire glass base, which is mostly not glass because all that three by three room on the inside there was just regular, well, a lot of pure ferrite. No matter what, this is gonna cost you a lot of inventory slots to do on survival or permadeath. This is definitely a normal saver on here, just to mess around. Could do it on creative as well, but I like the progression of normal challenge. Till next time, everybody, have a good time.